Do you need to know how to configure a secure connection between Oracle CASB Cloud Service and OCI? The first step is to create a user. In the OCI Admin Console Users page, click Create User. Enter a name for the user and an optional description. Then click Create. The next step is to add the public key from Oracle CASB Cloud Service to this user. Click the user you just created and click Add Public Key. We now need to enter the public key from Oracle CASB Cloud Service. To get the public key, open the Oracle CASB Cloud Service Admin Console in a separate browser window. And from the navigation drawer, select Configuration and CASB Key Pair Management. Use the Copy to Clipboard icon to copy the key, and then switch back to the browser window with the OCI Console. Paste the public key and click Add. And there's the new key. The next step is to create a group in the OCI Admin Console. From the navigation drawer, select Identity, Groups, and select Create Group. Give the group a name and an optional description, and then submit your changes. The next step is to connect this group with the user account. To do this, click the group you just created and select Add User to Group. Enter the name of the user and select Add. The next step is to create an identity policy in OCI. Back in the navigation drawer, select Identity, Policies, and select Create Policy. Give the policy a name and an optional description. Then switch back to the Oracle CASB Cloud Service Admin Console. Click the Here link in the informational message. Here's a reminder of the steps we've already completed. Enter the name of your OCI group in the field on line 3. For line 5, we will copy only the single statement in option A. In a production environment, you would copy the five statements in option B. The statement in 5A grants excessive permissions, while the statements in option B grant only the required permissions. Click the copy icon to the right of statement 5A. Then switch back to the OCI admin console and paste into the statement field. In a production environment, this would have been the first of five statements to copy and you would now return to the CASB key pair management page, copy the remaining statements and paste them into the OCI policy definition until all the statements have been copied. Then click Create. The final step is to register this OCI instance in Oracle CASB Cloud Service. Switch back to the Oracle CASB Cloud Service Admin Console. Close the pop-up and from the navigation drawer, select Applications and then Add Modify App. Select the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure tile and in the next screen, enter a unique name for this OCI instance, then navigate to the next page. Now it's time to connect Oracle CASB Cloud Service to the OCI tenancy. To fill in the tenancy OCID, switch back to the browser window with the OCI Admin Console. From the User icon drop-down menu, select Your Tenancy. Click the Copy link for the tenancy OCID value, and switch back to the browser window with the Oracle CASB Cloud Service Enter Credentials page. Paste the OCID you just copied into the Tenancy OCID field. To get the value for the User OCID, switch back to the OCI Admin Console. And from the Navigation drawer, select Identity Users. Click the link for that user and select the copy link for the OCID value. Switch back to the browser window with the Oracle CASB Enter Credentials page and paste into the User OCID field. And then Test the credentials. With the credentials confirmed, submit your changes. Your OCI instance has been successfully registered. This will start monitoring all objects in the root compartment of the OCI tenancy and the IAM events. To monitor an additional compartment in the same OCI tenancy, select Register an App Instance. Select the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure tile, then click Next. Enter a unique name for this OCI instance and navigate to the next page. Select the Compartment under a Registered Tenancy option. From the OCI Application Instance drop-down list, select the OCI instance you just registered. Then test the credentials. Now from the Compartment drop-down list, select a compartment. The compartment OCID is retrieved from the previously registered tenancy. After submitting, the message indicates that your OCI instance has been successfully registered. 
So now you are also monitoring this compartment. If you need to monitor more compartments, repeat this process for each one of them. Otherwise, you've completed the setup of OCI for monitoring in Oracle CASB Cloud Service. Learn more at cloud.oracle.com.